I do believe that we are live. Now, welcome. I see you, Payne. I see you guys. Um, as always, I'm gonna. Well, actually, this is something new because um, the reason why we're doing this stream today is one I wanted to revisit an old deck that I'm very fond of, and also if you guys haven't noticed, um, House of Champs covered it, but there is a Snake Rain buyout. And also because of the new um, OCG set that was uh, exactly the Snake Rain art. And they hinted, they alluded to Snake Rain being reprinted in that set. And the boss monster is a gigantic snake. So if they don't make it a ro uh, reptile, then that's on uh, Konami. That's just a huge mis mistake on their part. And now, there's another reason why the whole type reptile typing means a lot to me. And that's more so like if you guys watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Wilderness, which you should because it's my favorite series on the channel. But I digress. Uh, you get to know a little bit about me personally uh, in terms of what I do in the real world. And for those of you who don't realize why Venoms mean so much to me and why reptiles in Yu-Gi-Oh! mean a lot to me, well, that's kind of because it's what I do in real life. It's my area of expertise. It's what I like to think I'm good at, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I actually think I know what I'm talking about when it comes to certain things outside of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, Venoms do mean something to me on the grand scheme because it's like, you know, like, cool. this is why I really do want to see Reptile support. And this is really why I hope that this new archetype that comes out is great and can use Snake Rain, but at the same time it doesn't get Snake Rain banned because God, I don't want a, such a good useful toolbox card to be banned just like that out of the gate. So, um, yeah. Now, with all of that uh, being said, and if you don't have your play sets of Snake Rain, it's going to get reprinted, but then if you don't have the original already, then you miss that buyout. You miss that big stonks opportunity years ago. No, no, never years. It's always a meme whenever anything looks remotely. Like, I remember mutants. They were wondering if they were going to be reptile or not. Snake Rain, well, now that we have, we're talking about Snake Rain, we have now understand why I am so excited and why I love Venoms. Let's actually take a look at what we're dealing with. So, this is what I have concocted for Venoms. This is my, this is leaning less on the control and alternate win con and trying to be a little more, being able to do something in the first turn, if that, if you want to put it that way. So, Venom Cobra, it's our vanilla. It's a beefy defense. Um, we do have our alternate win con. If we can summon her out, this will be pretty fun. Um, we've got the easier boy to bring out, but then there's a whole interaction with him, but it, that, it is what it is. Um, then we have the Venoms for the Venom's sake. We have Rescue Rabbit, so we can turbo off Venom Cobra, so that we can go into something in the extra deck, which we'll get to. Light Serpent works extremely well with Snake Ring, because it's an if effect, so it won't miss timing. So if this card is sent from your hand to the graveyard, special summon it. It's not a once per turn. Snake Rain is not a once per turn. This is literally a free extender with Snake Rain. Um, Reptilian Lamia, it's a tuner, so it gives us access to synchro plays and uh, stuff with its own synchro monster. We do have one big easier to summon out main deck boss monster that's kind of sacky. It's Divine Serpent Gay, but all these reptiles are searchable because of one certain card in the extract. Now, in terms of the graveyard, what are we sending to the graveyard with Snake Rain? Uh, this guy. Terrine Tooth Tsuchinoko. So when this card is special summoned, Book of Moon every special summon monster on the field. So, um, it's a very interesting thing. Like, I want to test it out. I want to see how it works. Like, you know, it's like some kind of interesting form of interaction, a weird tech option, if you will. And it's searchable. Everything's searchable. One IP here, it's a hard, it's a once per turn. It's a hard once per turn. So, you can draw. And yeah, Akage Takage is, but a lot of times, like, I don't always have a normal summon level 4. Like, obviously, I have Rescue Rabbit. I wanted to... It essentially is, yes. It's like, when it's summoned, change all other special summon monsters face down. Um, but it's an easy draw one, and then you can recur it. You can only use it once per turn, so you know, no point in running multiple, just run one, because you can search it, or d more, ideally, you're dumping, dumping it to the graveyard with Snake Rain. I'm running a danger package, because you can search Tsuchinoko, 
and it just helps us get some extenders on the field and draw deeper into the deck to Venom Swamp. It's the gimmick of the deck, but really it's a kind of slow, so only one Venom shot if you want to go. The card that will one day be extremely broken is Snake Rain. Discard one card, send four reptiles from deck to graveyard. No one's per turn. See what I mean? This card is crazy good. It just needs cards to abuse it. Light Serpent is... Yeah, I know, it's not level 1. Yeah, I wish it was level 1. But yeah, no, Light Serpent with dis discarding for Snake Rain. Free extender for days. You gotta love it. Um, Viper's Rebirth. It's a monster reborn for reptiles. If everything in the grave is reptile, most of the time, almost always, it's going to be reptiles in the grave because Rescue Rabbit banishes himself. And then the only other monsters you have in their deck that aren't reptiles are Danger Jackalope and Danger Nessie. But those only come up every once in a while. So use, or you can just hold off on those, use Viper's Rebirth, and then use their effects. Um, Super Poly, because guess what? There's a Venom monster in the extra deck. Uh, Terraforming, Monster Reborn, Rise of the Snake Deity, which is how we get our Phenomena Nog out, and then Call the Haunted. Just other ways to get reptiles on deck, such as Phenomenon, and also Terrain to Tsuchinoko, because I kind of want to see if I can pull this summon this thing off and, you know, Book of Mooning the entire field. It'd be kind of funny. Anyway, um, onto the extra deck. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Has Venom in its name, so technically, Venom's unaffected by Venom Swamp, also, it gives us something to do. In. Um, Synchro line, a generic level 8 synchro that we can possibly go into reptilian hydra this works well because um lamia is a two and then with any four is a six so lamia will make something zero and then when she's when hydra is summoned to the field i get to destroy all face up monsters with zero attack that the opponent controls and then i get to draw a card for each monster it's pretty good not great but good exactly reptiles will be i'm hoping that this new archetype that they revealed will be crazy good because then snake grain will probably be banned because it's not a once per turn so they'll probably limit it or something but even still um herald of the arc light because occasionally you know you'll have lamia and you'll have you'll special summon out ipira so it gives you a four option um and then king of the feral limps generic rank four detach and xp's material add a reptile from deck to hand no level restriction this card is crazy um another generic rank four snake rain might get in a rata I, it's kind of stupid. I don't like Aratus in the sense, like, just make, some cases I just say, just make a new card. Like, I remember DZ saying, like, just make a new card that pays homage to the original. Anyway, because, like, sometimes, like, Chaos Emperor Dragon got neutered, and, like, it's not the same anymore. But anyway, Giant Hand, it's a generic rank 4 that is technically in a gate. And on the theme of Giant Hand, number 3, Cicada King, is also in a similar vein and a gate. So... Um, you know, Light Serpent is usually if you discard off Snake Rain, you have a free three, and then usually Suchinoko or Jackalope or even Venom Snake, you can overlay them to make this guy. Um, if we have enough monsters, we can go into Appaloosa. Um, Access Code Talker, BLS, this is hidden here because we can make it with Phenomenon and Nessie, and then, you know, we can make some shenanigans or even Divine Serpent Gaff for that matter. Um... Nightmare package of Unicorn and Phoenix, and we have a Mascarena, so we can do a Mascarena with another monster have and go into Unicorn. Um, Reptilian Echidna works also with uh, Lamia and um, Hydra. And Salamangrate Great All Mirage, because sometimes we draw some of our weaker monsters that we need, and let's say we have a Viper's Rebirth, so we can actually try to do something. It's not ideal, but it's there just to kind of unclog if we have really bad draws, but this is Venom. This is, this is a casual deck. But it's my casual thing. But I tried to make it as... I mean, not this isn't as control. Obviously, I wanted control. I would have done something completely different. But this is... Combo? Venom? I don't know how you would really word it. Um, anyway. Let's um, actually see how this thing does. All going hosty wosty. Yes, we are definitely in casual. Uh, we're using the new format. Notes for funsies. Smiley face. Let's see how good of a deck builder I am. Let's see how good of a deck builder I am.
But no, this deck does have a... I do have a soft spot for this deck, so... Okay. Ash Blossom. Okay. Well... Let's activate the Lope. We get the Bunny, we get to draw... Oh, that's a terrible rip. Alright, well, we have a 2k wall. Do I have? Yes, I do. For this specific build, um, I'm missing a few pieces, but I do have all the Venom cards. Yes, I do have all the Venom cards. Um, somewhere in my collection, I have to go find them. Oh, no. Okay, I'm losing this duel. Hello, greetings. But yes, I do have all the cards. Because as you guys saw, like, I got a soft spot for Reptiles. So. Sentimental. Not even sentimental because it's what I do for a living. So like, that's also why I like aliens. Even though they're more, not exactly reptiles, but they're tidings reptile, but they're not. You know, you know what I mean? I think. I hope. Okay. Um. Uh, let's try this again. Can't believe I have all three of my bunnies. I do. It would be pretty cool. I'm hoping like the big boss monster is just a generic reptile. That would be pretty awesome. Oh haha ha, funny. True of your bricks. I have all drawn into all three of my rescue rabbits, so don't you complain. Um Oh man. Alright. Yeah, I think some Arados are good, but other ones, like, if you completely neuter it, V-Ross, you're completely right. Like, sometimes, like, if it's just a solid once per turn effect, then okay, that's fine. But other in other case, like what they did to Chaos Emperor Dragon, no, 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 no. I don't like it. I do not like it. How was my day? My day has been pretty chill. Some video editing here and there. Um, and then just tweaking this deck, going over some of the stuff that I want to work out. And, you know, also then arranging, throwing this together. Like, I wanted to do a little about me thing. So, like, you know, it has been a pretty chill day. Pretty relaxing. Next season, it might be. Maybe. I don't know. They said no. They. I feel like it's going to be a main deck boss monster, though. That. That's what I'm. My gut feelings tell me. Telling me because like reptiles already have um, King of the Feral Limbs. So my gut's telling me it's going to be a main deck monster, something similar to VFD. Or not VFD. Uh, True King of All. No, that's True King of All. Uh, Something similar to um, UCT, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Okay. Hmm. Gotta think here. useless okay what does this thing do Oh. 
Maybe. I'm feeling it might be something similar to Judgment Dragon. It might be, I'm thinking it's going to be like the reptile equivalent of Judgment Dragon. That's what my gut feeling is telling me. Banish two malefics. Add two malefics. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying the stream, you enjoyed the hokey sentimental intro, be sure to smash a like on the video. Interesting. Ruler the Chaotic Demonic Dragon. Or Chaos Ruler the Chaotic Magical Dragon, because Konami doesn't like the word demon. There's no field spell. Now there will be a field spell. Which means he can. Three people have not liked. According to my statistical statistics. Seven watching right now. Six likey wikies. Hmm. We got this. We don't got this. Boot sector ewectory launch. Draw. When, this is going about how much I expected it to, so... We're just gonna go crash with the rabbit. It may be a terrible deck, but it's my terrible deck. Because I love it. And none of you, no matter how meme or however many memes you want to make out of it, you'll never take the joy out of me for playing this deck. GG, Derek. Onward to the next. Oh, it's Mewatron. Hi, King Yoshi. Let's give him the snippity snippity snip snip. Oh no. YouTube. Interesting hand. As in, I'm glad we're going second, actually. Oh my. Now. Dark Mimic level 3. Well then. Uh. <laughs> Let's set one. Normal slum until we can draw. Oh. Activate Lamia. Um, oh, you know what, actually? Let's set up the graveyard. The snacky snack, and... Uh, we already summoned him, and I wanted to dump him. We'll just dump a Venom Serpent. All right. Can 
do. Wow. We'll make a Herald of the Arc Light. We're gonna pass. Ah. Exactly. Today is just me playing a deck that's near and dear to my heart. Alright. Normal summon activated. Search, um, you could search an extender, but where do you have danger jackalope in hand? So let's search a light serpent. If it gets discarded, that's even better. So activate the lope. No, please hit the light serpent. Oh, it hit gay. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Um, Could make all right. Here's a big brain play. Yes. So this card is. Oh, uh, let's get rid of the unknown. Light Serpent will trigger, because it was discarded. We go into Access Code Talker. Access Code Talker targets him. Activate Access Code Talker's effect. Remove that. We pop that. Oh my god. Battle phase for 10,300 damage. Phenomenon is at 5,000 attack. GG, Mewtron. And then Access Go Talker. There we go. Wow. We're 1 1. That was actually competent. See, game, that first match showed how incompetent my deck is. And this one just showed how somewhat potentially competent it can be. <laughs> Not really, but you guys get the picture. What's that DZ always says? Every casual deck is good. Because in casual, there is no ceiling. Okay, alright, we are all set. <laughs> um, let's go first. Mm, that's not a good thing. Well, General Kenobi. Alright, Venom Swamp has been activated. Yeah, you see, this is the other thing about the deck. I could have included... You were playing Silent. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh no. Hmm. We're playing Dino Wrestlers, okay. I was about to say, like, what am I playing against? Pancratops can be in anything. 
luckily for me, Capterra can't beat over Venom's Cobra, so. Thank you to KD. Okay, while I control Dino Razzler, each player can attack with only one monster each turn. That battle phase. Fine enough. Your Dino Monsters, blah, blah, blah. Gain 200 attack. That's not enough for me to care. When I can activate. Labia. Hydra? Hydra effect. Draw a card. Oh! That's a good top deck. Rip off the top. Bring out the Nessie. Hmm. Interesting. That's normal summon. Suchinoaks. While you control. Okay, well, well, since I don't control any. He is no dino wrestlers. So I can get swinging. Main phase two. We go into since the big unga chunga. Only past turn. We'll sit on the towers. I've tried, but it doesn't really. Eh. I like my options better for what I had. Let's call three. <laughs> Oh, did you guys see that? Oh my god. What a call. I'm on fire. If you guys didn't watch the um in the no Yugi in the Yugi No podcast with Casual Card Gamer, Artist of the Fro, Golden Nova, and JC Theater Udio, I was calling all of them on their on the thingy. Okay, yeah. We're activating the lope. Please hit the light serpent. Ah. Oh. Normal summon, special summon, hmm. I can only attack with one, so let's just be defensive to control the dino wrestler. Battle phase. Main phase two. Wait. Oh, this card has to destroy it. That's fine. What does this thing do? If this card is uh, during the standby phase, this card you can special once from your deck. Yes, I'm gonna activate that. And detach you. Negate his effects and make. Hold on. Sure. Oh crap. No, I wanted to ch change him into the... Whatever. Oh, why did I do that? I should have kept him in defense. Mistake on my part. I thought it meant change the dinos thing. Not his defense. Fossil dig. Broken. Should have got hit, but didn't get hit. I'm not complaining because I play dino. Next stream, I do what I want. I don't even know what I'm going to stream next. I think actually, well, no, next Twitch. 
I do need a um, patrons. We do have another deck building stream coming up on Twitch. We need to set a date for that. But that's for Twitch. That's not for YouTube. This one's a good card. Mm. Probably I from that dumb misplay, misclick, misplay. Both Cicada King will get destroyed. Not an issue. T Rexel. Oh no, he doesn't. He gains that little thingy. Interesting. World Dino Wrestling. How cute. Alright. That's not what I want to see. Okay, um... But that won't do anything. So we're gonna add the big boy himself. Battle face. Alright. Attack. Oh, yeah, I can only attack him? Nope. gonna be this guy. Hmm. 
Boom! Yes, reading is a thing. Reading is a thing. Reading rainbow. Hmm. Oh man, the memories. I remember reading rainbow. Love that show. That one has... Hold on. Let me read this thing. Ba if this card battles, can't activate spell traps on the density, opponents can't target other monsters except for this one. Okay. Um, and he gains attack. So we're just gonna go... Venom Swamp eat away at his monsters. We'll let Venom Swamp do the work. The grind game. God, I would love Venom support to come out. Something that can really make use of Venom counters. I like the field spell. I really do. I like this slowly eating away. But at the same time, like, it just needs some... It desperately needs some support. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh. My love for bad GX archetypes. We lost collection? I will take that! I will take that as a win for Venom Swan. I will happily claim that. No shame. Mm. And now we await an opponent. Gotta do what you gotta do. Would anyone else like to challenge me in my Venom deck? This is my Venom combo deck. I may try to... Maybe I'll try tweaking it and see if I can do a more control variant. I think I'm gonna try that too. Like, this is a more combo-y, but I wanna see what I can do with control. Kinda like what I did with Aliens. I made the... I did one Alien ones... I built them with the control route in mind. 
So I'm going to see if I can't do that with Venom. But for now, this is like my more explosive combo Venoms. No one shall challenge me. Do you fear the Snake Master? Oh, look at that, Raven. Ah, not to worry, Raven. Let's uh, slap him with the paper. Oh, we'll hit him with a rock like it's the Pokemon Safari Zone. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind, it looks like we lost that one. It's the real reason why people go into the Safari Zone is just to throw rocks at people. You got homework. Oh, no worry, v -Ross. Homework is important. <gasps> Destiny here is an artist of the Welcome, my friend. Allure of Darkness. Caius the Mega Monarch. Okay, so what, are we playing Monarch? No, he's got an extra deck, but it could be extra deck. I don't know what we're playing. This is I don't know what Raging Raven is. Okay, he set one in the past. Okay, so we don't want to lose you. We don't want to lose you. Let's see what we can draw, shall we? Uh, I kind of wanted to keep that, but I have another one. There it has, and I'm happy for it. Ooh, that I like to see. Draw into a danger. Reptiles are my favorite type. Draw. <laughs> oh, yes. Firewall, this is... A, okay. Let me... Hmm, okay, I think I got an idea. Um You Activate, let's see what that back row is. Pitch this to go into the pop that. What is it? 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 Phoenix Wing Wing Okay, I'm getting progression series vibes here. Tsuchinoko does. Battle phase. Let's poke in for as much damage as we possibly can. I don't know what we're playing against. Ugh. It does look robotic, but at the same time, it has robot. It may look somewhat robotic, but it also has feathers on it. I'm going, I'm thinking it's a reptile. And they also teased that it was going to be. I don't know. I didn't. Okay, maybe I see. I don't know what we're playing against. Hmm. Yes, Itali is still a mod. I don't know. Mutants are weird. I can, I don't, you'll never see it. Question mark. Evenly matched, huh? Okay. Evenly matched. All right. Well, one, two, three. We got to keep our strongest monster on the field. <laughs> we got evenly matched. Uh. Cheeky bugger. You cheeky bugger. Ooh, hit the mic. Hit the mic. And be sure to smash a like on the video, guys. And if you missed the intro, I'll go over it at the end. If you're just joining in, I'll go over it at the end. 
for the fun of it. Because also I like fun things. I like fun things. I like very fun dragon. <laughs> I don't like him, but I use him in occasionally in Dino. But I don't I don't go on too often. So oh my god. This is like goat form <laughs> goat format meets 2020. here. Come on, show me. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is Raven playing Teledad? Oh my god, don't tell me he's playing Teledad. Uh, okay, well, let's set up to the graveyard, shall we? Snake Rain. Solemn judgment. Wow. Teledad twenty twenty. Is this Teledad twenty twenty? He's playing Teledad. <laughs> this mad lad is playing Teledad. I love it. This mad lad is playing Teledad. And yes, that rhymed. How many darks does he have in grave? He's got one. He's only got one dark in grave. I'm not going to give him three darks. <laughs> Teledad is a was a tier zero deck way back in the day. We're talking way back in the day. Um, this is like uh, two thousand eight, two thousand seven, one two thousand eight. I want to say two thousand seven. No, two thousand. Wow, okay. Never mind, that play is not happening then. Yeah, seven and eight. But basically, when da when uh, Dark Arm Dragon was released into the format, and he had stuff with like e -Telly, and basically, Dad was just pop, 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 just popping things left and right. He was a beast. And like, yeah, he literally dominated. Like Derek's straight on, like saying, it. "You're talking about dominating formats." So, wow. Oh, I can't wait till it. I think next week, history of Yugi or not history, uh, progression series hits. Uh, Phantom of Darkness. So they're gonna get dad. All right, give me a good draw. Hyperia. That's not a terrible draw. Uh, now in 2020, we can have three dads. I'm kind of disappointed in today's progressive series video. I think Simo pulled. I mean, obviously Simo didn't pull any of the like the good enough. Like, he didn't pull any extra deck Glad Beast, but he had enough to run a Glad Beast core. I feel like obviously that's why the history of Yu-Gi-Oh exists because then they can make decks without having to rely on pulling their cards. But like, you know, seeing the decks not really change at all 
it's like okay cool like it's entertaining and like don't get me wrong i still love it but at the same time like i want to see like each set like change the decks a little bit so i guess that's why the his the oh okay this actually all right bunny Activate the rabbit. Come on. You got torrential tribute. Oh no. He's got. I think he's got three darks in grave. Does he have three darks in grave? Yes, he does. He's got three darks in grave. Allure of Darkness. He's going for it. Oh, I know. He's going to have Dark Armed Dragon, and then he's got a decent enough Six Sam st stuff. Like, he's got a Nishi. He's got Great Shogun. <laughs> so, if he pulls, like, Kizans and the Mizuho's in there, okay. Let's thin the deck here for our Venom Swamp. Normal summon. Light serpent for game. Light serpent for game. GG. We beat Teledad. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Properties. Edit. Text. 3 1. We beat Teledad. We have defeated Teledad. Look at that. We beat a tier zero deck with Venom. <laughs> I am a happy man. Stardustu Dragono! Watch, like, they're not gonna pull any synchros. <laughs> And like once the synchro era comes they're not like gage or alex aren't gonna pull a single synchro until like five or ten set sets in <laughs> that'd be hilarious because like in all of like the original sets like synchros aren't anything higher than an ultra rare i mean anything lower than an ultra rare so like <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Love so hard. Try not to love too hard. It might hurt. All right. Um, you got a danger snack. Set these two, because I actually want to use those. Danger Snack. Draw. Okay. Terraforming. Good evening, X Luxor. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, hmm. Actually, can I? I can make a format. No, I don't want to do that.
IP. Because the monster reborn is not once return. We'll pass on that. Oh wait, that's why he gets destroyed. Crap, I forgot. Viper's rebirth. Mm, forgot that. That's annoying. Oh my god, that's a busted up. So, okay, here's the thing. I don't think there's a the small, I mean, obviously it's a pack. The issue with the pack opener is that I feel like it doesn't really do ratios like it does. It just does odd probability stuff. It doesn't really, obviously, if like you open 24 packs, you could open like four or five secrets, potentially. It, I don't think it has the same odds as it would like an actual box. But anyway, potato, potato. But I still love it. I this is the fact that that bless YGO Pro deck for having that um, function on their website. Welcome, welcome, welcome. He didn't miss too much. He just missed a hokey sentimental opening, and then me just playing around with one of my favorite decks. Looks like we're going the classic Venom route. play reptilians um i might i've i've dabbled with them before so maybe another stream i may um i may tw um test play test around with them so we'll see <laughs> venom swamp dealing with the parlor But yeah, I might try to do a stream with Reptilians. Okay. The fact that I'm still in this game... Whoever's in the lobby, please do your chatting on the YouTube stream. Do not chat in the games unless you are my opponent. Pet peeve of mine. Small pet peeve, but still a pet peeve. If you're chatting, do all your chatting in the YouTube chat. Not in my game lobby. Game lobby is for me and my opponent. Not lethal. That is not lethal. Main phase two. You don't. Mm, I would hope not, but every now and then. Yes, I do have three snake rain in real life. Yes, I do. 
I've got all these Venom cards in real life. Oh my. Well, we're slowly going to weaken <laughs> that five-headed dragon. I'm a genius. to take a lot of damage, but it's going to be worth it. A token collector. Also, yes, pun on the actual card name. But I'm, I'm not the big, not a huge card collector. Nurse track. If you're enjoying the stream chat, I do ask that you hit the like button. See how many likes we can get. Can we hit that 20 mark? 20 mark is always a nice benchmark. <sighs> okay. Battley waddly phase. Oh yeah, that's right. He'll pop out. Thank you guys. For those who've already done so, I thank thee. Um... Get to 20. Let's get to 20. 20 is a hallmark. Benchmark. Tinkek. Ernest. Tis the season. La, 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 la. GG. Alright. We lost to... Waifus. Alright. 3-2 though. The fact that we were actually still in that game amazes me. Makes me happy. I'm just happy to see this deck perform. Even if we lose. been in Finitrack. I feel like every single time S. Dunst has played Infinitrack. Alright. Not complaining. I love Infinitrack. I play Infinitrack. Yeah, it's Infinitrains. Night Express Night.
Uh, no. Impossible. The one thing you have to realize about America is we're too stubborn to make anything 100%. It will never happen. A full lockdown will never happen unless we have a mass dial. But I feel with the vaccines on the way, it's, it'll uh, come around. But hey. America, greatest country on the planet. Otherwise, people wouldn't be speaking English. Canadian. Since when have I ever been Canadian? Like Canada. I've been to all the provinces in Canada, but I'm not Canadian. I'm American. And I'm proud of it. America, the best country on the planet. Patriotism. No, but uh, English, best language. No, not the best language. Spanish. It's the most romantic language. The most beautiful language. But English is the global language. America. Okay. Unaffected by card effects. The fish pillow. Alright. Uh, let's do this neck ran. Bitch. Okay, send one, send two, send three, send four. Yes. You talking about the giant catfish pillow that I have? I like him. My dad got it for me when I was little. I kept it, and I kept it. Um, it's unaffected. All right, activated effect. <laughs> yep. Haven't he hasn't been on screen for a while because ever since I moved to uh Okay, that's fine by me. No, I'm vegetarian. I am a vegetarian. I do not eat animals for both religious and moral reasons and environmental reasons as well. For all the reasons basically. And religious, moral, environmental, and health too. I guess health is also. So that's four really different reasons. No. Fishing industry is not sustainable, but even then, religiously, like I won't. So, number one is re for religious reasons. Number two would then be for moral reasons. Number three would be for environmental reasons, and then number four would be for health reasons. I mean, they're all important, but obviously, one there's a reason why one is each one is in the order that they are. But like anyone who's an environmentalist. Like, it's kind of... It only makes sense. Alright. 
Alright, so, let's see. I'm playing a competent deck with a very casual GX deck. It's not gonna end well. Definitely, you're 100% right, Ray. Twisters. And this is why. I'm going to scoop. That's three three. GG, I stood no chance. I stood absolutely zero percent chance in winning that one, so I am not surprised in the slightest. But yeah. I live a healthy lifestyle, and I'm not going to change. So, you know, plus I can't anyway. Made a lifelong vow, so. All right. We're going first. Hmm. Normal summon the bunny. This isn't even rogue. This is completely <laughs> bottom of, not completely bottom of the barrel. It's low end of the barrel. This is like table 501. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Alright. Activate. Where's the snack? We're gonna add the snack. No, tier like 501. Not even tier 50. You're giving Venoms way too much credit if you're putting them at tier 50. Like, I once I. Well, you always play Infinite Train, so like, they're. Infinite Track Train. So there was. N I never had it. I never stood a chance. <laughs> never stood a chance. I mean, it's Win Con is cool. It's just extremely hard to even get out Venomanaga. That's the. That's the thing. Oh, uh, make IP. Dragon Arcane of Force tier 50-50. You're not wrong! <laughs> okay. You know, there's different ways to build, and obviously there's Venomanaga Turbo, but like this is like my attempt at making Venoms as somewhat consistent as possible, That's, if you want to put it that way. Like, uh, yes. Spin you. That. Spin that. So you're just gonna have to waste resources. You're gonna have to waste as many resources as possible. Glad you could stop by. Oh, is this deck good? No. It is not. But it makes me happy because of what I do. So I play it.
plays Sky Striker in the casual servers, though. <laughs> like, who actually in their right mind plays Sky Striker's a road trick? Obviously, it's a hit deck. It has its. But, like, it's not a casual deck, it's a freaking meta deck. It's a rogue meta deck. Who plays Sky Striker in the, in the casual server? Well, whatever though. I play any. I'll play any. I'll play rogue decks. I'll play Sky Striker. I played. I just played Infinitrack Trains, and I got, I got destroyed. But it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Battle phase. Attack. Kill the Shujuku. Main phase two. Venom Swamp. I have not seen anything to indicate that this is a meme Sky Striker deck yet, so. I'm assuming that this was a Widow Anchor or something. <sighs> Who knows? Who knows? We're at 12 likes and 15 viewers, which means three of you have not enjoying the stream, to my knowledge. Good thing is, Sky Strikers are weak, so Venom Swamp is actually putting in a little bit of work here. There's multi roll. Can't believe this card is now a common. And there's Widow Anchor. Check W, he, did he actually forget that I summoned the unicorn with an IP Mascarena? <sighs> oh my god. I think I now understand why this Sky Striker player is playing in the casual service because he doesn't know how to play the deck. <laughs> or he doesn't know how to read play against an opponent. He does he does remember I summoned the unicorn with IP. Unfortunately, Turing Tsuchinoko doesn't do too much for me right now. Because this is all Link monsters, so. Can't Book of Moon a Link monster, unfortunately. Shoot, if he wants to grind this game out, I'm gonna grind it out as long as it's possible. And if he loses to Venom. Then he is just a terrible Sky Striker player. <laughs> or I'm a good Venom player. Or both. It's fine by me. Grab your spell card. You're just gonna get a token. Not a token, a counter. Get a little bit of Venom powder. So, like, I do think it's funny, but at the same time, like, um, I understand, I see both sides. Like, I can see it is funny for content. However, at the same time, like, I can, I kind of feel for revs because it can be really annoying sometimes. Like, you're actually trying to see what your deck can do against a capable strategy, and then you're only playing against memes all the time. So, like, 
sure, content-wise, it's cool and all, but, like, um, on the flip side, you don't really get to test yourself and test your, your ability, your skills and your abilities. Like, you know, I always want to, like, improve your, uh, Regardless, well, it's not even sealed. Only that's technically Nimnim. -Nim. It's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch. Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch. Yep. Bitch, you can't respond. And guess what? Starving Venom Fusion Dragon is a Venom. <laughs> Oh, well that works too, I guess. That works too, I guess. Are we out grinding Sky Striker? We're actually out gr are we going to out grind Sky Striker? <laughs> She's wearing heels. That's not practical. Gagari's in heels. That's not a practical mech suit. The Wincon? Oh, Venominaga. So, I'll read her, her effect out. Can't be normal summoner set. Must be special summoned with Rise of the Snake DD. And can't be special summoned by other ways except by its own effect. Rise of the Snake DD says when Venominon, King of poisonous snakes is destroyed but destroyed by card effect you can special summon a Venaga from your hand or deck um, and then her effect is this card gains 500 attack for each reptile in the graveyard this card can't be targeted and is unaffected by spell trap or other monster effects essentially she's an immune to everything when this card is destroyed by battle since graveyard you can banish a reptile another reptile from your graveyard special summon this card so she can bring herself back when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent place one hyper venom counter on herself and then when she has three hyper venom counters you win the duel she is a broken card phenomenaga is an absolutely broken busted card um it's just this is extremely hard to bring out I think so. I don't know the current price, actually, so. Pass turn. <sighs> I love that we're still in this. This is hilarious. She also comes in common. Oh, that's cute. You think that that's going to end. I have another one in hand. KW. But, um, no. Um, she's got a common print as well. I think it's from a legendary... The Legendary Collection Season 2. The GX Edition. She comes... A lot of the Venom cards are in there as well. Normal summons Ash Blossom. Wow. Wow. <laughs> How am I still in this duel? It might, but I mean, King of the Feral Limbs is a common. From a somewhat, I mean, compared to Snake Rain, it's a lot more recent than Snake Rain, so. But it would be nice, actually, to see him in a reprint in a hollow, because, like, you know, that'd be actually really, I think a super rare, giving him the super rare treatment would be really nice. I would buy it. I still can't believe I am in this. I am still in this duel. 
It is hilarious. Normal summon Venom Serpent. Activate Venom Serpent effect. Alright. Move to battle phase. Is Bay. Bay Fist. Pass her an effective Venom Swamp and give you a Venom Counter. Still in this against Sky Striker. I do not know how. <laughs> Cat is sleep. That's a horrible. I'm sleep talking. The fact that this Sky Striker player is not been has not been able to finish us off. Really? This guy really used Dark Ruler no more on Venom Serpent. Is this guy absolutely mad? I don't take damage this turn. Dark Ruler no more. damage why would you attack Pass. <laughs> this, this guy clearly does not know how to play sky striker to assert his dominance, yes, but like, come on, man. How am I still in this game? He's not asserting his dominance very well if he's going to, if Venom is going toe to toe with his deck. <laughs> and this, look, he's running meta relevant cards. He's running Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, Cosmic Cyclone, Dark Ruler No More. He's running <laughs> relevant, he's, this is a full on rogue meta deck. And he cannot beat Venoms. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to save this replay i'm saving this replay chat i am saving this replay to prove that this deck my deck my venom deck can go toe to toe with sky striker <laughs> even if we don't win this duel if we win oh if we win this duel i'm gonna make a freaking video about in gear suit I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna definitely uh, save this replay and post it on the Discord, you guys.
Again, there we go, access go talker. It took him that long to make an access code talker. Wow. 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 That's just, that's hilarious. Tikaboo. Shark Cannon. Why? The fact that I <laughs> have been able to <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, I'm happy. I'm I'm loving this. Did he seriously not activate access code talk? This guy does not know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. He had access code talker. Oh my god. I am still in this duel. Okay, now I'm not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the fact that I... Oh my god. How? Ow. How? This guy is hilarious. <laughs> he had every opportunity to finish this game off and he didn't. can kill me. I only have 3,000 life points. Oh yes, that's true, but he true, but he could have link climbed and uses all of his other cards to actually like get lethal. You could have pop popped the Hercules base. Anyway. Um but like he could have still done a whole lot more. Unfortunately, I do have something that's not that's a non-reptile in the graveyard, which is IP Mascarino. So Viper's Rebirth is turned off. There we go. He tribute summons Nibiru. He's finally gotten it. it this deck has taken 20 duels. I'm saving this. Venom versus Striker. Madness. The fact that we lasted that long against Sky Striker is absolutely hilarious. Even if you don't know how the deck plays, you have access to Link Monsters. Just go into Boral Sword and you OTK. 
Oh my god. That's so hilarious that we were actually able to last that long. I okay, I don't play I'm claiming this. I know how to build a Venom deck. I don't, but like the fact that we lasted that long against Sky Striker. I'm taking that. I am taking that. Oh. That made me happy. That made me happy to see something that brings me such joy and actually able to do that and go toe to toe with a rogue meta deck. At one point it was tier one and we were able to go. Firewall, um, yeah, that works. I mean, it makes sense. The erratas, they heavily nerfed it. Oh, too good. Activate snake rain, pitch you so that we can pitch. Phenomenon, Hyperia, Phenomenon, and let's uh, just go get rid of Venom Serpent. Effect. No, it does have an errata. It definitely ha it has one. As it does, so the whole like if you go to anywhere on the internet and you can see the posts, you'll see like the errata. It's a hard one per turn now. Uh, Hyperia. Draw one. Did I just go plus? <laughs> the card advantage. The sheer card advantage. Um. Normal summon. Okay. What can I make here? I can make an Appaloosa for... Mm. I can make an Appaloosa for four? I can make a Negate and um, a Spin. I feel like this will be better. And then we make the IP. I, I feel like that will be a better interaction than an app. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. But like you could bang out to normal something and beat over my Appaloosa. Oh man, what does this thing do? Oh, this is the new... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. We're playing Onomats. Okay. <laughs> I wish. Dodo -do Dwarf. What does this thing do? Special summon of Zubaba, Gaga for hand. While this card leaves. You can special summon uh, That's fine. It's good summoning. Zubaba Bancho, ga 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 coat. Zubaba Bancho, ga 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 coat. That's fine. We're playing Automats. That's right. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not getting a. This is a when. That's unfortunate. Yes. Activate, detach you. Not yet. No. He 
you're not going to be getting that double or nothing. <sighs> All right. Welcome back. Okay. See, now I'm actually glad that I went this route instead of um, the... Spin that away. I mean, yeah, you can overlay, but like, at least I have something. I mean, onomatopoeia, rank up magic sexual force. This is a new card. And this is the new card too. I think. No, is this? I don't know. No, no. I don't really. I don't know all the the Utopia alternate for alternate Utopia versions. I know some of them, not all. Of them. But I'm still in this. I think. <laughs> Thank you, IP Mascarena. Yeah, I think this. Oh, well, that was a terrible top deck. Did not want to see her in my hand. I do want to see Phenomenaga in the deck. Rainbow Neos. That's cool too. If he summons anything with 200 or more attack, he has game. He literally needs to summon anything with 200 attack. He could normal summon a Karibo. Eh, Gigi. Oh, it's someone on stream. That's cool. I like playing people who are watching my stream. As long as you don't stream snipe, I like playing people who watch my streams. Gigi. Exactly like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. Battle phase, and we're gonna crash. Okay. It's okay. On to the next. Rainbow Neos is actually not a bad card. I played Rain. I have played Rainbow Neos and Frogs. Paleo frog, you know, a going second option. Obviously, you can do Dragoon, but like, I wanted to try Rainbow Neos out. It was actually, I think, right before Dragoon released. Gives you a big old 45 beater that clears the field. <sighs> no, you're, you're good to go, Raven. I wouldn't mind a rematch at all. 
would not mind a rematch at all. Modley! Q, you're gonna love this. I went toe to toe with Sky Striker. And actually, it was a 20 turn game. And it was absolutely hilarious. Sky Striker player did a whole bunch of misplays, but like he had every opportunity to finish me off and didn't. I love it. No, I didn't, unfortunately. But honestly, like if I probably drew better, I probably could have beaten him because literally I was. I'm gonna post the replay in on this Discord, but the fact that I was doing that good, it made me feel happy. It made seeing my little janky GX deck go toe to toe with a rogue meta deck, it made me happy. All right, we activate Snek. Snek hits, ugh. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I know. Ah, oh, all right. You can make fun of Venoms all you want, but it doesn't matter because you're never going to take away the joy from me. And I can beat you up in real life, so it doesn't really matter. That's why physical fitness is important, you guys, and practicing martial arts. You have to back up your bark with a good bite. Crisp. Machinas. Orcus Machina. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, bat? Yeah. There it is. But if you guys follow me on Twitch, and if you've been following recently in my latest streams, we've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. And that is a card in a, in that uh, game. I don't run it, obviously, because it's absolutely terrible, but it's in that game. The game's from 2002. Technically, it's in, it's in English there, so... Anyway, I digress. Yep, can't... I still count it as a win. We take those. We take those. So, potato, patata. My stream, my rules. I say it's a win, therefore it is a win. Done did Duke Lugu. Alright. Ip Mascarina. Alright. Ooh, that's not good. Um hmm. Well We're gonna normal summon Venom Snake. Move to battle phase. We're gonna beat over. Because he can't. S he can't use his effect to. IP's effect during the battle phase. Nighty night, sleep tight. Main phase two. Fast turn. I don't know why on earth you're playing this deck unless you're someone on my stream if that's the case then let me know that's another thing guys if you're playing me let me know otherwise then so that way i don't criticize you for playing a meta deck in a casual server but if you are playing because i told you on stream then by all means tell me so we can communicate i like to communicate i'm a talker But no, this is a guy playing this deck in the casual servers and is not someone watching on stream, then what are you doing? Anyway, I digress. I digress. Chat, what are you guys up to? How's your day been? Talk to me, because obviously I have no forms of interaction with my opponent, so uh, he can pop off as much as he wants. So, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Any new fun projects? 
Art, school, jazz. I like jazz. Took five years of jazz. <laughs> Can you shut up? You love my voice. Alright, I'm out here. Where's Scooby? Where's Scooby? -doop 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 -doop. We'll make this. All right, Raven, you wanted a rematch, right? Um, I'll host and it will be RCG. Just to make sure that you get in and not some random person. Yeah, I did. Everybody, I want chat. I do want everybody to give a huge congratulations to our mod queue, Smod Shop. But, and he's got a keeper. So, props to my big man. Also, Cute. The ring looks gorgeous. It's really good. Really solid choice, my man. Solid choice. A man of taste, as I would say. Some may say I like the sound of my own voice. Play whatever you want, Raven. Dude, oh man, you helped design? That makes it even cooler. It is the most solid of rocks. Daft? He's going daft, he says. No, but like, also guys... If you're into like cool like crafting and stuff, you go follow my man on Twitch. Cause like every now and then he'll do crafting stuff and he'll like bunch of cool stuff. Like I find it really cool. Like everyone has their one skill that they have their expertise in. Both sides are. I was like that too when you told us in mod in the mod chat on the Discord server. I was really like finally. And you two make a great good couple, so I'm happy for you both. Escape ghost. Oh no, I feel I feel like this <laughs> Alright. Um I feel like I've played against this deck before, Raven. I know I know where this is going, I'm worried. Uh oh. How are we doing in the light department? 14. Not bad. Not bad. The rabbit. We drew the rabbit. Threatening roar. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I won't be attacking this turn. I'm fine with that. Oh really? That's actually kind of cool. I have a friend who does that, who does video game development. All right, activate, detach, search the snack, and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Please discard the snake. Yes! Oh, perfect. That's perfect. I love it because look at that interaction. Because he was sent from hand to graveyard. Special summon. Okay. That's what you call plussing. Oh yeah, definitely guys. Go give my man a follow. I have his YouTube channel link on my channel. But like, go check out Q's Mod Shop on Twitch, you guys. Go follow. And look at that. You know, you already know, you already know. Alright, um, that's a lot of back row. That's a lot of damage. Let's go into... Yeah. 
Hell yeah, it does. Pop that one. Draw a muscle. Target one defense position monster you control. It has a thousand lives. Draw one card and it just can't be destroyed by battle this turn. Interesting. Alright. Um, what can I make here? Vipers for Earth. Let's bring back a light circle. It doesn't really matter which one we bring back. I want to pick apart this board. Exactly. And I like that. Everybody does something. Everyone has their one special talent. Sometimes it just takes a matter of finding it. Unexpected die. Mage power. I can't battle this sir, so we're just gonna pass it. Sometimes it takes a little bit of soul searching. Oh yeah. Well, Q's usually streams at night, so usually it's very, it's pretty favorable for the people who are in uni. So. But I do encourage, and he also does a lot of not only does creating shit, but he also does a bunch of other stuff too. So. Dude, you've been grinding it out with the Pokemon stuff. Oh man, that's early X Extra. Main phase two. Master. That is early, my man. I knew this deck <laughs> Hey, international audience, the better. A global presence. Look at him killing himself. I can respect that, Raven. Ah, I can respect that. I can respect that. Onwards to the next match. This one will be an open host chat. So if anyone wants to stop on by and play one of my favorite decks, is it a casual deck? Yes, it is. One day I hope it can be meta. Hopefully with that new support. If it is a reptile, it can be. It's a generic reptile deck that I can actually splash venoms in. That would be pretty cool. But if not, also I'll play it to pure as well. Ah. <sighs> I bet. Slitter 3-3. Three, three. Gaming streams are fun. Nostalgia streams are fun. All streams are fun. I enjoy streaming. Truckee. 
Let's hit him with a rock, like in the safari zone. And we're going first. Watch this wombo combo. Snake rain. Discarding light. Serpent. That's the wombo combo right there. Because that's automatically a plus one. No. Oh, oh, crap. Yeah, it's okay. Um, hmm. Activate this. Sure, Q. You sure darn can. Draw. Hyperia. You know, in the scope of things, this is actually not the worst hand in the world. Do I sound surprised? Well, I haven't played you in a hot minute, Q. In a hot minute. Pot of desires. Okay. Okay. But can you beat my one negate? That's just one less. Guys, can think about that for a second. Dragon Link. Well, now I can't make the Buster Lock. So Dragon Link only puts up two negates. My Venom deck just put up one negate. I know you do, Q. Of course you can get a game. I'm joking around. But by this logic, Super Quants, oh my god. Um, what does this thing do again? about that for a second chat my deck put up half as many negates as dragon link okay we're playing power rangers what does this thing do i should know this i've played super quants plenty of times before but i just never remember their effects you can send a super quantity and this card's after because this card's not yet i'm saving it for something bigger Your third favorite. So wait, it's trains. Then is it rock? And then super quant? If I'm not mistaken. I know prank kids are in there too, so I don't even know. You don't even know talent. No talent. No talent. SpongeBob perfect. Mm. Speed roids. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Alright. Now is the time. Dan Green Noises. <sighs> Thanks for watching. The stream is over now. Now that that question has been answered, we can call it a day. We can call it a day. Ugh. Listen to the sound of my voice. Stay tuned next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> These for priceless, the look upon your faces. Years for extinction, all your puny races. Ah, for revolution. Will be televised. F is for how comment you are. Do you think that since Magical Meltdown was hit in the OCG, Far All was unbanned, do you think we'll get similar adjustments in that next time? 
potentially. The issue with that being is we have different formats. We have different best decks and different routes and plays. Like Dragoon is banned there, no one uses it here. Different things, Invoked Dogmatica is not that strong of a deck here as it is there. So I don't think so. They base it off competitive play and uh, yeah. That song gives you PTSD. Oh, I'm sorry, Q. <laughs> the sound of my singing voice. There will be, in up the upcoming episodes of S Sealed Only Dragoonity, gentlemen, there will be a singing intro. And I'm not talking about the finale. So, there's a little uh, tidbit for you guys in the free seats. I love it. Hey, that's a good quality table. You can use that table for your crafting and making. I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't worry, Randall. What does White Lair do? He is now a beefy 3k. <laughs> I know, you have a huge over. It just think about it. More tabletop space means more projects that you can do. <laughs> he scooped! He scooped! He scooped! <laughs> yes! We beat Super Quants! Super Quants couldn't get past my one negate Venom deck! <laughs> yes! Taste the defeat! I know you. Alright, Q. The password for you, my friend, will be perfect. The password for you, Q, will be perfect. Oh, I think this will actually be the last game of stream. Uh, I think it's only fitting. And then, love you too, buddy. We smack him with the paper. We're going first. How quaint. Normal summon the bunny. Activate the bunny effect. Alright. Um, we can go into... I don't know. Can we end on a 6-6 six and six record? If we do, I will be extremely happy. Extremely happy if we end on a six and six record. I'm not ready. Nope. No, I am not. All right, we'll set this. Um, I kind of want to hit that. So, set that. Activate. Ah, oh, darn it. It's not the worst thing in the world. Everyone gets off Venom Counter. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yep, that is to be expected. Urgent schedule is to be expected. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. 
Probably. I wouldn't be so I wouldn't be I would be shocked if they don't reprint. Yeah, but it's like the funky, like the electric version of the Thompson Tank Engine theme. Yo, old coot. <sighs> I feel like. Yeah, Photon Orbital, I can probably see that being a high value reprint. And then it's gonna tank. I haven't cut my hair in a hot minute. Fair enough. So I don't get OTK'd. Hopefully. <laughs> uh. Well, it's gonna be Duels of the Rose mixed with the Kaiba one. So, like, uh. Bingo Machine Go is gonna get a reprint. That's also gonna be up there. Bingo Machine Go. Libe, Urgent Schedule, Photon Orbital. Uh, which card would I want Venom? So, okay. Venoms need some. Oops, notification. Venoms need a few things going for them. There is. I think what Venoms need is a way to more abuse Snake Ring. Obviously, like, you can get Venomenon into the graveyard special summon and so like snake rain can help fuel your phenomenon phenomenaga they need to find an easier way to get at least phenomenon onto the field if they want to go that route but also more interaction with the field spell more use of venom counters i feel like giving them like a continuous spell card that would be pretty cool that like you know during each standby phase, add a Venom counter, like da 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 da. Because then Venom Swamp triggers whenever a monster's attack hits zero. So, just ways to spam out more Venom counters. That would be pretty cool. And, like, they have, a, they have a counter trap that's like negate a spell effect by revealing a Venom and destroy it. I think more interaction with the Venom counters is what the archetype needs, I feel. So. That would be interesting. Or even something like as cool as a Link monster. Like, uh, you know, uh, how Alien Shock Trooper M Frame kind of re revamped aliens. At least in my opinion. Because I'm an alien player. Something along those lines. Something similar. You know how it distributes A counters. So, like, a Link monster that can distribute Venom counters, just like Alien Shock Trooper M Frame. That was pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Because then, like, with this field spell, so, like, when this Link. For example. So, um, Envoy of venom Venomous Snakes or something like that. Just pick some kind of name and then, um, basically when this card is Link Summoned, similar to Romulus, you can add a Venom Swamp or a Venom card from your deck to your hand. I'd, let's say Venom Swamp. You can add a Venom Swamp. 
and then you can quick effect pitch a venom card or pitch a reptile and then distribute venom counters equal to its lever something similar to M shock trooper M frame Doki then. Anyway. That'd be cool. I don't know. Or something crazy like a continuous trap, like negate the effects of monsters that have venom counters on them. That would be cool. You know, that would be nice. That would be really nice, actually. So anything with a Venom counter can't activate its effect. And then gradually, Venom Swamp will... You know... So Venom Swamp does it, their monsters do it. I think that would be really cool. Like a continuous spell that negates... And monsters with a Venom counter on them. What did you miss? I'm about to get rammed into the ground by trains. Railed into the ground. <laughs> He is going choo choo. And we go five and seven. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? The fact that we went actually. The fact that we went five and seven with Venoms. I'm gonna take that. And we went toe to toe with Sky Striker. Choo choo, my friend. But, uh, am I happy with this deck? Yes, I am. Combo Venom. Oh no, you had full combo. That was pretty good. Combo Venom. Snake Rain one day will be broken once that new boss monster is revealed to be a reptile. And same with Viper's Rebirth. If you want reptile support, make sure you have th three of this. Three of this. Three of Monster Reborn. Three of Ultimate Foolish Burial. Three of Mega Monster Reborn. Um, I'm, I may tweak this deck. Probably I will. I always tweak decks that I like. Um, I may even build a control variant of this to see what I can do with it. Um, hmm. But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Also. I love wacky techs. I like Giant Hand as a wacky tech. It's a generic four that's a negate similar to Cicada King. I like my wacky techs. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite decks. It's not a good deck, but it's my deck. I like it. For those of you who weren't here at the beginning of the stream, actually, how many people do we have viewing right now? We have nine viewers, and we hit the 14 like mark. Um, but for those of you who missed the beginning of the stream, I was basically explaining, you know, like, you know, we were talking about, like, you know, there was the Snake Rain bio, and then there was the reveal of that new, in the new set that's coming out in the further down in the line, and the, one of the big archetypes had a big boss monster, it was a giant snake that uses the graveyard, so, like, Snake Rain, Reptile Support, and there was even talks about, like, it's probably Snake Rain's gonna be reprinted in the set, so, you know, it has a, I have an effect affinity for this kind of archetype because you know I explained like it's kind of what I do for a living so it's nice I really have this affinity that's like I have a real soft spot for venoms for aliens it's like make it's like a part of me in a game that I play so hopefully one day reptiles will get the support they deserve because I really like playing around with these kind of cards so um yeah, yeah, That's, we're gonna, we'll take that. Five and seven record, we will, 
I will happily take that, and I will be posting that replay against the Sky Striker matchup. It took 20 turns for him to beat us. I'm plotting my Venoms. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's stream, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, stay tuned for other videos. Be sure to follow me on Twitch for more streaming content. Be sure to follow Q's Match up on Twitch, as we were talking about earlier in chat, for other streaming stuff in terms of gaming and, uh, you know, just content creation and cr actual, like, physical creation like watches man like repair stuff and um yeah sealed only dragoonie will be back next week it's gonna be a fun one they're all fun ones at least for me i don't know about you guys but um that's gonna do it for me 